Let's give it a little sniff. Does it smell like snow? Perhaps. Ooh, it's got a nice, like, <sighs> I feel like I'm getting high off books. <laughs> What up, book nerds? It's time for another book haul. I am super excited to show you what I read and what I got and all that good fun stuff. But first, let me show you really adorable pictures of my brand new puppy, Olive. Oh. <laughs> I rescued her from this place called Badass Brooklyn. They got her from a kill shelter down in Dallas. They rescued her from Dallas, brought her up to Brooklyn, and they named her Olive actually after the girl on the cover of Ransom Riggs' Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So obviously I had to pick her because she was a YA dog and my entire life is YA, so naturally. She was the dog for me. So I got a dog, I got a little puppy. I tried to bring her in to do this video with me, but... Harper was like, no dogs, and I was like, please, but she's cute, and they were like, no, and I was like, fine. But maybe I'll try to film my next book haul at home, that would be crazy, because I feel like she's just gonna be all up all over my face, but I will love that anyway, because she's a puppy, and oh my god, she's so cute. So, anyway, let's jump right into what's new from Harper this month. All right, everybody, here's what's new from Harper this month. We've got all of these books, let's run through them. We've got Be Good, Be Real, Be Crazy. Uh, try saying that 10 times in a row by Chelsea Philpot. This is a road trip book. We also have, oh, all the books are falling off my lap. We have The Stranger Game, which is about a creepy changeling. I don't know what a changeling is, but it sounds creepy. So there's that. Um, we also have Saving Red by Sonia Sones, which also falls under the category of books with girls who have hair that I want, because um, I want that gorgeous red hair. This book is sold in prose, which means poetry. Also new is Pushing Perfect by Michelle Falkoff. And we also have another Gretchen McNeil book. She's got a bunch of books out. You guys should check them out, particularly around this time of year. She's got a lot of horror novels, but this one is not one of those. It's one of her new contemporaries, I'm Not Your Manic Pixie Dream Girl, about a girl who comes up with the 100% mathematically guaranteed solution to finding social happiness. So check out that one. And finally, we have A Million Worlds With You by Claudia Gray, which also is like my favorite book cover design of all time, completing the most beautiful trilogy of all time. I am obsessed with these book covers. Look at how freaking gorgeous they are. Here's the front. I have to put them in order because they have to be in order. So there we go. And then here's what they look like in the back. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> This series is all about a girl who must travel through multiverses in order to hunt down a killer. So if you're a fan of Fringe or Orphan Black, you should definitely check out this series. And if you're not into those things, then just buy them purely because the book covers are so freaking beautiful. Aww. Doesn't it just make you wanna like paint? Ugh. I just want to paint, even though I don't know how. <laughs> so last month I asked you guys to pick between The Graveyard Book and A Monster Calls for which book I should read this month, and I read both of them because Halloween and because fall and because it's like this time of year. So I'm going to start with The Graveyard Book. I actually read the graphic novel version of it. There's also the like 20th anniversary, 10th anniversary, I don't even know how old this book is. There's like a billion different versions of this book, but I'm super into graphic novels these days, so I read the graphic novel, and there's multiple versions of this even. There's there's like the volume one, volume two, but this one is the complete combined volume, so it's extra heavy. I also read, well, wept through A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Um, so I knew going into it that it was gonna be sad. I've heard that it's sad, but I had also just expected it to be pretty scary because I mean, look at this cover. It's a little bit scary, right? First of all, look at how positively gorgeous this whole book is. If you have not read this book, just be forewarned that it is more so about grief than anything else, and it's about dealing with grief and loss. And this boy meets this monster who is sort of in the shape of this tree, and the tree tells him stories in exchange that the boy has to tell him a story, and throughout all this whole thing, the boy's mother is dying from cancer, and the stories and what the boy goes through with this monster kind of help him cope with uh, his mother's terminal illness. So this book was a big trigger for me personally, and so I basically just wept my face off throughout the entire book, and it was really, really hard to get through. 
but I'm so glad I did because it is stunning. I mean, the words, the illustrations, everything about this book is absolutely stunning, and I cannot wait to see this movie. I think it's already out in the UK. I really want to see it, so will anybody go see it with me? <laughs> I'm just gonna be sitting there like, just like, <laughs> the whole time, so. I also finally read Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sapitas. This is the third book that she's ever written and the third book of hers that I've read and she's quickly becoming one of my favorite authors of all time. Ruta only writes historical fiction novels. Two of them, this one and Between Shades of Grey are set in World War II and then her second book, Out of the Easy, is set in the 50s in New Orleans. Five different characters as they sort of um, come together on this ship and I'm not gonna say what happens, but you can kind of guess what happens based on this cover. And like all of her novels, it will probably shock you. Some of the parts that she talks about, she does not shy away from the atrocities of World War II and what happened. Um, there was this one moment where she talks about the ship pulling out of the harbor and all of the mothers were frantically trying to get onto the ship and get their babies up onto the ship, but they couldn't because the ship is leaving and so they just threw their babies up at the boats and it was just awful but in the kind of way that you want to read about it because she's writing about things that aren't as well known and but they're so important and she just she is such a beautiful way of writing in a way ah i'm like I'm, tr I'm struggling to find the words to describe her writing style but she's absolutely a very important right um, writer that you guys should definitely read. If you are into World War II, if you're into historical fiction, definitely check her out. If you like to codename Verity or anything like that, if you like Band of Brothers, any of the World War II stuff, check out her novels. They are absolutely amazing and will bring these fictional characters to life in a way that make, like, are they, they almost read like they were real people and that these are memoirs, but they're actually fictional, but so well researched and based on actual things that happened. So definitely check this one out. Mm, nothing. That's okay. Book was so good, I don't even need anything on there. And finally, I feel like I've been waiting forever to read this book, and I even waited a little bit longer to get a copy of it. Shout out to the girl at Barnes & Noble in Tribeca, who I bought this book from, and she recognized me from my videos. Hey, what's up? Um, I bought and am finished Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. Oh, <laughs> okay, Lee Bardugo is probably my favorite fan YA fantasy writer, and I was obsessed with Shadow and Bone. I even made my husband dress up like the Darkling one so I could take a picture of him. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but I didn't think I could love Six of Crows more than Shadow and Bone, but surprise, I did love Six of Crows more than Shadow and Bone. And I didn't think I could love Crooked Kingdom more than Six of Crows, but ha 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 ha, I did. I do, I really, really did. First of all, Let's talk about this gorgeous package design. The cover is black and gold, and the last month I have only allowed myself to buy black and gold books because, I don't know, I'm just trying a thing. And so, luckily, this is black and gold, so I could buy it, totally get away with that. But look at the paper. What are those, papers? <laughs> just look at the pages, you guys. Oh, let's make sure this focuses. Oh my god, they are blood red. It's like I pricked my finger and then just went pshhh and painted the pages with my blood. <laughs> um, it's absolutely beautiful. The first time I opened it, the pages were kind of stuck together and it made that like, that like creak, that creakily, I think I just invented word, that creakily sound that pages make when you, when you crack open a fresh book that like, I can't even, oh, anyway, it made that wonderful creakily sound. They don't smell like blood, but they smell better than that. Oh, and then everything, it's got this like little, I take my paint, I take the, the covers off when I read them on the subway because obviously I don't want to damage the covers, but it's just, then I have this like little red magical piece of wonderfulness. Just, oh, oh, it's so good. I like am obsessed with it. And there's a map and then there's another map. And I'm also obsessed with the chapter headings. And then there's like all of this Grisha layout. Oh, there's just, 
they did such an amazing job with the whole package design of this book and I am really upset that there's only two books in this series because I love heist stories. Ocean's Eleven, that show Leverage, I'm obsessed with heist stories and this is a fantasy heist story. What is not to love? I love Kaz and the dregs and I love every single character that's there and the Grisha and the all the bad guys and Pekka Rollins, it just the whole thing. I am so obsessed with the series. I have to put the cover back on because I can't, I can't look at it without it on there. Oh, and there's like a little, there's like a little crow. You probably, uh, it's in there. I feel like I'm fangirling too hard and my brain is just like shortening out because I don't know what to say about this series, but I'm really sad that this series is over. I read it so slowly because I wanted it to last because this is my most anticipated book of this year, hands down, and it's absolutely lived up to all of my expectations and I just don't want it to end and I'm really sad that it's over. Once again, I'm really hot. <laughs> I guess it's super hot in here and I'm wearing like a billion layers. I don't know why. I'm trying to look cool. I'm trying to do a thing, okay? Here's what I got from the other publishers. I got a nice little stack of finished books this time. I'm really excited. I got The Odds of Lightning by Jocelyn Davies. Uh, full disclosure, she actually works like right down the office from us. She's an editor here at HarperCollins and she's also an author and she has a brand new book out. Ta-da! I really love this cover design. I think it's super cute. I kind of just wish I could do like my nails in those colors, but that would require me to actually do my nails and I've never really done my nails before, but if I do do them, I'm going with that one. We also have, I got a big box from Bloomsbury with some little notes on them. So I got, oh, that's kind of hard to read. The Edge of Everything by Jeff Giles. Um, my friend over at Bloomsbury said, Jeff is a former editor at EW, aka Entertainment Weekly, and this is his first book out next January. Check that one out. We also have Everyone We've Been by Sarah Everett. I am obsessed with this cover. It's probably like too bright because of the light right now, but this cover is just like, oh loving the colors on this. But then I came back. <laughs> There's that. Oh, and we also got a finished copy of Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. The note on this says, the character of Margot may be the best part. It's spelled with a T. Maybe perhaps this character Margot is named after me. I don't know. Danielle will have to confirm, but I choose to believe that she named her after me. <laughs> Let's give it a little sniff. Does it smell like snow? Perhaps. Ooh, it's got a nice, like, oh, I feel like I'm getting high off books. <laughs> but look, there's got like a little snowflake in the corner there. That's super cute. I'm really excited to read this one. Empire of Storms. I also got a finished copy of that one. This one says, less of a doorstop than A Court of Mist and Fury, but it still weighs as much. Why do these books weigh so much? Is it like the type of paper? Is I don't know why they are so freaking heavy. But it's, I guess it's totally worth it because like when you're like done and you're just like drop it gently, but you drop it, it's got like a nice sound to it. Do you hear that? That's like, whoops. <laughs> I also got a copy of Letters to the Lost and the note on this one says, I love this one. It's everything you love in a YA contemporary all rolled into one. And I also got a copy of The Special Ones by E.M. Bailey. And finally, <laughs> Just, like knock myself in the face with this the throat of glass coloring book Ta -da! let's open this one up oh i opened up to the best page ever <laughs> yeah y'all what's happening there i don't know but i can't wait to color it i don't know why i'm making this weird smirk <laughs> i'm actually really bad at coloring um so this will be a good challenge for me it will be good practice for when the selection coloring book and the red queen coloring book come out so I'll get, I'll get all of my like, my practicing and my like, I suck at coloring all out on this one. Get ready for the next two that are coming out. Ta-da! Okay, so that's it for this month's book haul video. What are you guys reading and what are you guys super excited about? Tell me in the comments below. I'll jump in and reply. As a recap, here's everything that I got and read. Oh my god, I can't. Oh, this is so heavy. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm trying to put this back. Oh my God, it's so, oh, I almost made it. I almost made it. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll see you guys next month. Book shimmy.